First tonight, the state is pushing ahead with plans to use your tax dollars to build an airport to relieve congestion at Chicago's O'Hare and Midway. But before they do, they only need to take a look at the millions spent on an airport to relieve congestion at St. Louis's Lambert International. Here is the plain truth. Mid-America Airport, sitting off of Illinois Route 4 in the tiny town of Mascuda. Beautiful architecture, disdained by taxpayer watchdogs who have seen it lose millions year after year. The loss has totaled close to $170 million. The airport had no passenger flights for three years. Two weeks ago, Allegiant Airlines started service with one flight on Thursdays and a second flight on Sundays to Sanford, Florida. Uh, leisure travel is really a, 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 a heart of the envelope for us and free parking and easy access and family friendly. The rest of the time, the terminal sits empty. Mid-America is a joint operation between St. Clair County and Scott Air Force Base, with the airport providing a long runway allowing the Air Force to fly bigger planes. Over $300 million have been poured in here, and groups like Citizens for Smart Growth call it an albatross sucking revenue. But it is mathematically impossible, as the saying goes these days, to make this airport come out in the black. The airport was built in the late 90s to provide an alternative to Lambert, before the downfall of the airline industry, before 9-11. Even though the conditions have changed, uh, the plans for Mid-America Airport have not changed. The addition of Allegiant provides hope that as the economy improves, so will the fortunes of Mid-America. The economy is a backbone, though, for everybody. As the economy grows, I think there'll be more air service all around. Occasionally, an airline will come along and fly for a while, and there are a few passengers that go in and out of it, but essentially, it's a ghost town. Boeing operates a small facility here, and North Bay Produce flies in perishable items like fruits and vegetables. With the lure of cheaper fares, Mid-America hopes to capture more of the passenger market. If the airport hits 10,000 passengers a year, it will be eligible for an annual federal grant. And then we're afforded an opportunity to have a million dollar grant every year. Still not enough to offset the losses. Audits show the airport lost $8.4 million in 2011 after losing more than $11 million in 2010. And rather than talk about the $8 million loss, uh, the, the headline in the local paper was Mid-America Airport lost $3.5 million less than it lost the year before. Mid-America has never reached its potential and has been a drain on taxpayers. Possibly a lesson for the backers of an airport in Piatone. Make sure consultants advising politicians on constructing the airport are independent. Be very, very, very careful. Somebody who's going to be truly independent to look at this thing and see if that is really the smart thing to do.